Hello everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Well, I've done it. I've gone ahead and ordered an airplane. I've ordered a Sling TSI. It's a kit plane and I'm really excited to start building it. Here's a picture of the Sling TSI. I think it looks very good. Very nice looking airplane. It's a fast economical four seat fixed gear airplane. It has really smooth lines newly designed wing and a lower profile designed to make it go faster. The airplane will cruise at 155 knots with four people at 9,500 feet MSL, according to the Airflame Factory website. To lower drag, it utilizes flush rivets. It is a low wing, all metal, all aluminum airplane, constructed of 6061 T6 aluminum. It is a strong, durable aluminum that is naturally resistant to corrosion. In November, I flew down to Torrance to visit the airplane factory and test fly the TSI. I met with Barry J and gave me a tour of the place. Then we did a walk around on the airplane and we jumped in, took off for a test flight. Once we took off, I immediately noticed how fast it just leapt off the runway. It had a great, incredible climb rate. We turned out, went out over the water, did some steep turns. It was really impressive the response to the flight controls. It had very great uh, roll rate. It was very smooth to fly. We put it into slow flight and did a couple of stalls. The low speed characteristics were really good. Then we came back to Torrance and land. This part made me a little nervous because it's been about 15 years since I've flown general aviation. I fly an Airbus A320 for work, so I was worried about flying high because of the different sight picture. Well, as we came down, we got to the point where I thought I should flare. I chopped the power and I started the flare. I knew it was going to be bad when I saw Barry flinch and he tried to grab the controls. Well, we slammed it into the runway. It was really hard landing, so I was a little bit embarrassed. I immediately apologized to Barry. He said uh, he had seen worse, but I know he was just trying to make me feel better. But anyways, at least I know the gear is really tough after that kind of a landing. After the flight, he took me out to lunch. I asked him all kinds of questions about the airplane. I left there really impressed. The engine is one of the main reasons I chose the Sling TSI. It utilizes the Rotax 915. The engine is 141 horsepower, turbocharged with intercooler, which means you have a lot more horsepower up at altitude. It is also fully FADEC controlled. FADEC means the engine will always be running at optimum power and efficiency. It only has a throttle, which means the FADEC controls the mixture automatically. It just really simplifies the operation of the engine. It also uses the Air Maastricht electric constant speed prop, which automatically sets your pitch of the prop for you. You can also do it manually if the need arises. It looks like you have a few pre-selections, a takeoff selection, climb selection, cruise selection, hold, and feather. On the left, you also have auto switch, which if you switch that to manual and then look down below, you can adjust it with that lever from course to fine or find a course. Another great selling point is the Rotax engine runs off auto fuel. The Rotax prefers 91 octane auto gas as opposed to 100 low lead, which is around $2 a gallon cheaper per gallon. It will run... 100 low lead if you need it, if you're out on a cross country or something and that's all that's available, it'll run 100 low lead just fine. The interior has fully adjustable leather seats and since it has a Rotax engine, you have a heater similar to what you would find in your car. I'm going to have a full IFR glass panel with Garmin Avionics, including a 10.6 inch G3X Touch EFAS. A backup G5 electronic flight display, GTN 650 IFR navigator, which has its own nav and comm radio. That'll make the plane IFR certified. Also a GTR 20 comm radio. The Garmin autopilot, the GTX 45R transponder, that'll have the ADS-B in and out, and the GME uh, 245R remote Bluetooth audio panel. I'm also going to install the VPX vertical power to clean up the panel and reduce some circuit breakers. I'm also thinking of doing a push button start like you, what you would find in a modern car. The glass canopy provides excellent visibility. It has gullwing doors which make it easy for all four people to get in and out of the airplane. 
The back seats have a lot of leg room compared to other airplanes this size. It also comes with an option to install a ballistic parachute. I'm going to go ahead and opt in for this option for the extra peace of mind. I'll be doing a lot of flying with my three daughters and this extra safety feature is another huge reason I chose this airplane. The parachute option costs an extra $11,000. Here are some of the specs. It cruises at 155 knots on 8 gallons per hour, of course of 91 octane fuel auto gas. Fuel capacity is 45 gallons of fuel, which gives it a range of 800 nautical miles. I'm going to also install auxiliary tanks, which is an additional 22 gallons of fuel, which will increase the range to around 1300 miles. The auxiliary tanks cost an extra $4,500. Max gross weight is 20.95 pounds with a useful load of 1,015 pounds. Wingspan is 31 foot 3 inches with a wide 44 inches of cockpit width. Approximate time to build the kit is 1,500 hours. The quick build option saves you about 500 hours and costs an extra $25,000. I'm going to build the whole thing myself though, so I'm not going to opt in for this option. Wayne and John flew the plane nonstop from Torrance, California to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The flight was 1,512 nautical miles. They did it in under 10 hours. They did a ceiling test on that flight, which took the airplane up to 27,000 feet, even though in the picture it shows them at 26,000 feet. They did most of the flight at 17,500 because of more favorable winds at that altitude. There are plenty of articles to read about this flight. It was quite amazing. I'm quite excited to start this journey. I'm going to try my best to document it on my YouTube channel. Just keep in mind, I've never built an airplane, so I'm no expert by any means. I just want to, you know, just document it and uh, also maybe help some other builders along the way. They can check it out or just get people interested in aviation in general. You know, if you're wanting to build an airplane or if you're looking to learn to fly, I'm also a flight instructor, you can reach out to me and uh, I can uh, point you in the right direction. Uh, please like my videos, subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my progress. Um, also comment on the video as well. But thanks for watching my video. Let's get started on this build. Thank you.